Alcatraz Prison was founded in 1934 and closed in 1963. At that time, it was a place where the most notorious criminals in American history were imprisoned. This prison was built on an isolated island to make the possibility of escape impossible. Even if an inmate succeeded in getting out of the building somehow, they would have to. Then finding a way to cross the frozen San Francisco Bay. It is said that the currents of this bay are strong enough to drown the world's greatest swimmers in a few seconds, not to mention white sharks. So imagine with use the reaction of the San Francisco Police Department when they received a letter in 2013 stating that from the prisoner who escaped from Alcatraz prison. In 1961, a group of prisoners planned to escape from Alcatraz prison. The mastermind of the plan was Frank Lee Morris, a career criminal who was convicted of his first crime at the age of 13. He was arrested for drug possession and armed robbery. But despite his turbulent life, Frank was extremely intelligent, scoring an average of 133 on an IQ test administered in prison. Frank used his intelligence in the criminal world, and he was a nightmare for the prison guards. In the late 1950s, Frank escaped from a Louisiana prison after being sentenced to 10 years for armed bank robbery. When he was arrested in 1960, he was sent directly to Alcatraz prison to ensure he would not escape this time. As for the other fugitives, they are brothers John and Clarence Anglin from Georgia. These two brothers worked as farmers before they started robbing banks. They were experts in robbery matters, but eventually the police were able to arrest them. The brothers claimed that the only weapon they used in the robberies was a toy gun because they hated causing physical harm to anyone. Although the toy gun they used was found, they were sentenced to serve 20 years in prison and after repeated attempts to escape from the Atlanta prison, they were sent to the impenetrable Alcatraz prison. The final member of the escapees is Alan West, who was imprisoned after being accused of stealing a car and was also sent to Alcatraz prison after a failed escape attempt from a Florida prison. Allen was 28 years old when he was transferred to Alcatraz, but given his educational background, Allen only made it past the eighth grade, which perhaps explains the unfortunate thing that happens to him later in this story. These four prisoners were locked in adjacent cells in Alcatraz prison, and after getting to know each other, they began to develop a plan to escape from the prison. Over the course of six months, each of them enlarged the ventilation ducts in their cell using saw blades they had stolen from the prison workshop, spoons from the mess halls, and an electric drill made from a vacuum cleaner motor. These four covered the holes they were digging with cardboard painted the color of the walls, and they also played musical instruments during the daily music period to cover up the noise they made when digging. When the holes they made in the wall became large enough for them, they began to crawl into the holes to reach the cell block, where they went to the archives room and stole a four-meter rubber boat and life jackets. Wood scraps and scraps were their only means of making oars to row and survive the strong and icy gulf currents. The guards never noticed the men's disappearance because they used fake eheeds they made themselves and placed it on their pillows. These fake eheads were made of toothpaste, soap and toilet paper, and they even had faces drawn on them and hair they had taken from the barber shop floor. Their plan was to row across the bay to the opposite bank, then steal a car. When the appointed day arrived, every man made his way to the surface except one. Unfortunately, Alan was unable to leave his cell due to his stupidity. He put cement inside the hole so that the guards would not notice the hole in the wall. The cement hardened it over time and it became impossible to leave the cell. Frank and the Anglin brothers had no choice but to leave without him. The escapees took their equipment with them and descended from the roof through ventilation pipes, then spread the wires of the fence, which was about four meters high. Eventually, the three escapees reached the beach near a power plant. This area was a hidden point for all detectors and watchtowers. 
They used a kind of miniature accordion to inflate the boat and set sail that night. Thanks to the fact that we know all these details about the operation goes to Alan, who was unable to escape. Let's take a look at some evidence that their plan work it. In 2013, 51 years after Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers escaped from Alcatraz Prison, the police received a letter from someone claiming to be John Anglin. The writer confessed to the escape. He claimed that he was the only one who survived among the three fugitives and that he would die due to cancer. The writer offered the police a deal, where he told them that he would surrender himself to them if they promised to take care of his treatment inside the prison. It is possible that the writer is actually John Anglin, as in 2013 he was 83 years old, meaning there is a high probability that he is still alive at this time. The letter was carefully examined for fingerprints or DNA, and the handwriting was analyzed with the help of a calligraphy expert, but the result was uncertain. It may seem a little strange, but there are convincing reasons that assure us that these three got out of the island alive. The FBI concluded in 1979 that the three men had drowned after escaping from prison in 1962, but their bodies were never found. Many were not convinced by the FBI's conclusion, and on that basis the case remains open to this moment. A police officer also reported that he had seen a boat sailing in the Gulf at exactly one o'clock in the morning on the night of the trio's escape. They were inspired by this Escape from Alcatraz is an iconic film that has captured the imagination of audiences for decades. Directed by Don Siegel and released in 1979, the film is based on the true story of the daring escape from the notorious Alcatraz Island prison in 1962. Starring Clint Eastwood in the lead role, the film tells the story of three meticulously planning inmates and carrying out an elaborate escape from what was considered an impregnable fortress. Packed with suspense, action, and stunning performances, Escape from Alcatraz has become a beloved classic in the prison escape movie world. In this article, we'll dive into 50 fascinating facts about Escape from Alcatraz, highlighting the production cast, and true events that inspired this unforgettable story of determination and resilience.